A salesman wants to visit a few locations to sell his product. He knows the names of the locations and the distance between each one. What is the shortest route the salesman should follow so that he only visits each location once before returning to the starting point? This problem is the famous traveling salesman problem, also known as TSP. It can be used for a delivery man to find the most efficient route to deliver his product that's gonna save him time and fuel. The traveling salesman problem has commanded so much attention because it's so easy to describe yet so difficult to solve. In fact, it belongs to the class of the combinatorial optimization problem known as NP-complete. This means that the traveling salesman problem is classified as NP-hard because it has no quick solution and the complexity of calculating the best route will increase when you add more destinations to the problem. There are obviously a lot of different routes to choose from, but finding the best one, the one that will require the least distance or cost, is what mathematicians and computer scientists have spent decades trying to solve. There are a lot of solutions for this problem, and in this video, we're just gonna talk about three of them. The brute force approach, genetic algorithm, and the ant colony optimization. The brute force approach, also the simplest and naive I should say, calculates and compares all the possible permutations of route to determine the shortest unique solution. To solve the traveling salesman problem using the brute force approach, you must calculate the distance of each permutation of route and then choose the shortest one. This is the optimal solution. The running time for this approach lies within the polynomial factor of O of n factorial. The factorial of the number of cities or points, so this solution becomes impractical even for only 20 cities. To get different permutations of routes in the brute force approach, we can either do it with a random function or we can do it with a lexicographic order. Genetic algorithms are heuristic search algorithms inspired by the process that supports the evolution of life. The algorithm is designed to replicate the natural selection process to carry generation, namely the survival of the fittest of genes. I have a video where I talk a little bit more about it, the link is in the description. So here are the steps that we're gonna follow to implement this. Creating initial population, in this case it's a bunch of permutation of our cities or points. Calculating fitness of each permutation based on their distance. Then we're gonna repeat these following steps until we find the fittest. We're gonna select a parent, make a crossover and mutation, calculate the fitness of the new generation, set it as the current population. Originally proposed in 1992 by Marco Dorigo, ant colony optimization is an optimization technique inspired by the pathfinding behavior of ants searching for food. Ant colony optimization is also a subset of swarm intelligence, a problem solving technique using decentralized collective behavior to derive artificial intelligence. Typical applications of ant colony optimization are combinatorial optimization problems such as the traveling salesman problem. However, it can also be used to solve very scheduling and routing problems. One advantage of ant colony optimization algorithms have over ad optimization algorithms is their ability to adapt to dynamic environment, a feature that makes it great for applications such as network routing, where there are likely to be frequent changes to accommodate too. To fully understand ant colony optimization, it's important to first understand the natural behavior of ants, which first inspired the algorithm. When searching for food, ants follow a relatively basic set of rules. Although simple, it's these rules which allow ants to communicate and cooperatively optimize their path to the food sources. One of the key characteristics behind all of these rules is the use of pheromone trails. Pheromone trails are essentially what ants use to communicate to other ants that a food source has been found and how to get to it. When other hands come across pheromone trails, they can typically expect to find food if they decide to follow it. However, ants don't follow every pheromone trail they find. Depending on the strength of the pheromone trail, an ant may decide to take a different path, or perhaps a completely random path which has no pheromone on. However, on average, the stronger a pheromone trail is, the more chance there is of an ant of taking it. There is this article that explains its behavior properly, so I'm gonna leave the link in the description for it if you want to check it out. Now, let's talk about how the algorithm is gonna work. First, each ant in the colony constructs a solution based on its previously deposited from trades. 
Next Ant will lay Fermont trails on the component of their chosen solution depending on the solution's quality. In this case, this should be the edges or the path between the cities or points. Finally, after all ants have finished constructing a solution and laying their Fermont trails, the Fermont is evaporated from each component depending on the Fermont evaporation rate. These steps are then run as many times as are needed to generate an adequate solution. And yeah, with that we are pretty much done, I'm gonna leave the link for all the resources that I read while learning about this subject, and also the link for the code of this project is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.